Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I want to make sure that you must only have x variables on the left hand side. That means this one needs to go on the other side. So that's the reason why are we going to subtract one from both sides. So this one and negative one cancels out. We got x square minus 8x becomes negative 1. So the next step is I want you to just look at this, the coefficient of x, which is 8. Don't worry about this negative sign. Just focus on 8. I want you to put 8 somewhere here. Now I want you to divide whatever this number 8 is divided by 2. Once you divide this thing, we're going to get 4. And the last step is I want you to square this number 4 power 2. And whatever we got this number over here, we're going to add this thing up on both sides of this equation. So this is what's going to happen next. x squared minus 8x plus, and then I'm going to put down negative 1 plus. And now I'm going to add that quantity 4 square on this side and 4 square on this side. So far so good. Now look at the left hand side now, this part only. This represents a complete square of x and minus 4 square. Now you might be wondering where this came from. Well, x is always, remember, x is going to be always going over here. This whatever, this number 4 is going to be going on this end. These x over here on this end, 4 on this one. And whatever this sign is, negative or positive, whatever, that shows up in the middle. And now on the right hand side is going to be negative 1 plus 4 squared is 16. So, so this simply become x minus 4 squared equals to positive 15. Now we want to solve for x. We want to, so we want to get rid of this square. So we must take the square root on both sides. So far so good. So this uh, square and square root, they undo each other. So we ended up x minus 4 equal to plus or minus square root of 15. Now since we're going to isolate x, we have to add 4 on both sides. So that means this negative and positive 4 they are gone so we simply ended up with x equal to 4 plus r minus square root of 15 and if you want you can split this up along these positive and negative sign so our two solutions going to become x equal to 4 plus square root of 15 and the other one is going to be 4 minus square root of 15. So thus our solution set is going to be 4 plus square root of 15 and 4 minus square root of 15. But if you are interested in decimals, we know that the square root of 15 is 3 approximately equal to 3.873. So here is our answer in two versions. The first one is in terms of radicals. The other one is in terms of the decimals. Whichever you like, you take it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.